One of the most important things that Christians can do to show love and devotion to God is fasting. But sadly, it's often overlooked. In this week's episode of Holy Habits, Stephen, Ollie and Joe are going to talk about what it means to fast and how you as young people can learn to fast for yourself in 2021. So boys, fasting is a pretty big topic, isn't it? Have have either of you got any experience of fasting? I hadn't really fasted before and uh, Lent is a great time to do some fasting. People normally give up chocolate or something like that. And our youth group leader uh, encourages us to, to, to give up something that we know that we feel like maybe we shouldn't be doing um that is something like regular and so um i decided this is embarrassing but i uh liked uh watching eastenders when i was like 13 years old and so for len i was like right okay i'm gonna fast eastenders and um it it was actually pretty good because it was because when eastender was on that was a time that that i read my bible and i prayed and it was Mm. solid for um so i think an episode's about half an hour or 45 minutes however long it is and, and that was a solid time for me to pray and open up my bible nice. and that for me as a 13 year old was quite the challenge because I, I had a bit i didn't have a fantastic attention span and always struggled to do that um so yeah so it was a, it's a bit of a, a rubbish one it's not the standard <laughs> one that people do for fasting but yes i fasted <laughs> east ended i didn't really understand what it was um when i was growing up in my church and so every like couple of months or every so um like once one once or twice every year my dad would just not eat um and obviously that's the normal um well that's one of the main ways a lot of people fast is not eating and then Mm. spending the time they would eat focusing on god um and i was always like dad why don't you eat something dad why don't you drink something and and he was like no no i'm fine joe and i just feel so bad because i must have been so like (laughs) the temptation for him to like then eat something or drink something um that wasn't water was like Mm. levels are increased because you can just see me and hannah eating in front of him (laughs) Uh, now some people might think that a fast is about changing something in god but I I don't really agree with that. I, I think a fast is about changing something in us. Um, I think more than anything, um, you know, I, I think you know our, our, our prayers do change things. Our, our prayers make a huge difference. Uh, but I think that a lot of the time, fasting or acts of commitment to God are exactly that. They're, they're acts that show our commitment to to God. Uh, so. Um, I've got I've got a few things here that fasting helps us do. Uh, so fasting strengthens prayer. Um, fasting helps us to seek God's guidance, uh, express grief, uh, seek deliverance or protection. Uh, it can help us express repentance or return to God. It can help us humble ourselves before God, express concern for the work of God, to minister need to minister to the needs of others to overcome temptation and dedicate yourself to God and it can help you to express love and worship for God and that's just from literally the nivbible.com um, you know just just a quick list there of things that things that fasting helps us to do um, and those are all inward actions that turn our heart towards God if you want to make fasting a habit then probably the first thing that i would suggest is that start off with something small um don't set yourself uh big audacious goals um because the likelihood is that when it's tough you might not do it so i think it's best to start off small start off simple um so just a practical example is that um i've actually started to do i'm trying to fast once a week and uh, like at first i was like right i'm gonna fast for the whole day um but i'm just fasting breakfast just as a start and building it up on top of that so it's just starting off with 
with one thing, um, keep it simple, keep it small. Uh, and so then you're more likely to achieve it and then try to build on top of it um, as well. And I think as well, it's, you know, I think with fasting as well is that if you're fasting something, then it, it's trying to give that the thing that you're fasting to God. And so for me, you know, I'm fasting my breakfast because in that time when I eat breakfast, I'm going to spend it praying, opening my Bible, getting closer to God. So, um, you know, it's good to have it so that, you know, fasting chocolate, fasting these things that tempt us is great. Um, but how are we spending time uh, with God in these things as well? So sometimes it's good to sometimes fast mm. the meal because then you've got that a lot of time to then go, right, OK, well, I'm going to pray. I'm going to open my Bible. I'm going to listen to God. It's time for you and God. So maybe don't boast about it or um, say like, oh, look at me, I'm fasting. Um, because that's not the Christian way, first of all, to boast and say, look at me, I'm giving all this money to church, etc. Um, the Bible says to do it in secret. It's a time, it's something personal between you and God and nobody else needs to know about it. For me, I am... Um thinking back at the moment to when we did that ration pack challenge we ordered army ration packs to eat for the day to think about remembrance and while we didn't necessarily think about it in this way at the time it really was a form of, of fasting wasn't it that we we were giving up the comforts of the food that we liked um personally i found the evening meal absolutely disgusting and hated it but it wasn't to do anything inside of anybody else it was to to raise our awareness really of what life was like in just one small element for for the army and to, to think about them and to pray for them and to uh you know to, to do that so I, I guess really in a way that that almost was a bit like fasting wasn't it Ollie? um mm even if we didn't deliberately think of it that way. Um, and so I I guess really it, it's it's making sure, exactly like Ollie said, you start off small. Uh, like Joe said, you don't really tell people about it. It's, it's not something that we brag about. Um, it kind of eliminates the point of it. If fasting is to help us focus on God, the last thing we want is to make us the center of attention. Mm -hmm. So when you fast, just don't tell people about it. I know that for for some for some of us it might be harder to keep it a secret if we're if we're fasting. So I know for me and Ollie we're we're married, so uh, our wives would notice if we weren't eating, uh, or whoever's turn it was to cook dinner that night. We would have to only cook for one and be prepared to eat alone. Um, I know that if um, you know if you're if you're under eighteen here or you're living with your parents, you would have to tell your mum or your dad whoever's cooking look don't make me a plate um you know and if you live in a christian family that's probably going to be easier than if you don't live in a christian family you know if, if you if you don't live in a christian family um and they've never really come across the concept of fasting before they may actually think it's a pretty dangerous thing to do um you know they might be pretty against it um and in which case you know, you, you might need to be a bit uh careful and considerate uh, towards your towards your family to to avoid giving them a bad opinion of the faith um you know fasting is is something that we do we do to increase our own relationship with god and to to point us uh, closer towards god it, it's it's something that that orients our heart toward god one really really important thing to add is that if you have specific issues around food it might actually be a really bad idea to give up food uh, for a fast uh, so if you would like to fast it might be a better idea to give up something else, like maybe give up your mobile phone for the day or give up TikTok for a day or yeah, you know, media, something yeah. something that you can manage that isn't going to be EastEnders. Something that isn't going to be a really, really hard thing for you to do that might interact badly with your medical your medical concerns. But what about you? This week, what can you do to begin to pick up that habit of fasting? Maybe you can give up something small, like your phone for an afternoon. Maybe you want to start by giving up some food for an afternoon. Whatever it is, try something small and build it up from there. 
Fasting can be such a brilliant way to show your love and care for God. It will improve your spiritual life. It will improve your relationship with God. And it will 